What do you think you'll be remembered for? What will be your legacy? What will you accomplish during your life that will really make a lasting difference? I think on some level those questions matter to all of us. The thought of spending our lives working hard and stressing out and losing sleep and then all of a sudden it's just done doesn't really sit well with us. We, we want our lives to matter. We want to make a lasting difference. So how? Well, back in the 1990s, there was a professor at Purdue University who did an experiment using chickens. He, he wanted to see if he could maximize their productivity. And so he started by taking a group of chickens that all by itself was already pretty healthy and productive and he sort of left them alone. He simply let them lay eggs and have chickens who then laid eggs and, and had more chickens. On and on it went for six generations. But then he took another group and, and from the rest of his flock, he sort of handpicked the most productive individual chickens and he put them all in the same group together. The next generation, he did the same thing, took the most productive chickens, put them together, on and on, again, six generations. He, he was trying to create a group of super chickens. So after those six generations, do you know what he found? Well, that first group that he had kind of left alone, it was as healthy and as productive as ever. But when it came to his flock of super chickens, only three of them were still alive and even they were in pretty rough shape. See, it turns out the chickens that were most productive at laying eggs were also the most aggressive, the most violent, the most prone to try and achieve supremacy within the group by attacking the other chickens. And so he hadn't managed to create a flock of super chickens, he created a flock of psychopath chickens. When it comes to being productive, making an impact, making a difference, the world has all kinds of ideas about how to do that. We're taught to be first, to be the best, to strive to rise above the pack and set ourselves apart from our peers to, to achieve and compete and really carve out a name for ourselves. But so often, God demonstrates that he works in just the opposite way. This week, I'm excited to be talking to you about a, a specific group of people from the Bible whose names you might not recognize. At the very least, if the Bible were a movie, you'd probably have to wait and wait and wait to see these people's names in the credits. And yet, God used their very ordinary lives to accomplish extraordinary things. He used their small acts to have a huge impact. And the good news is you can be confident that God's going to do the same for you. This is just how God is. He, he often accomplishes his best and his greatest blessings using what seems to be small, weak, and insignificant. In fact, consider the life of Jesus. God used his lowly life, his humiliating death on the cross to accomplish salvation for the whole world. And that very same Jesus says this, I am the vine, you are the branches. I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Any life that is connected to Jesus is bound to make a difference. Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here with Time of Grace. Thank you so much for checking out our podcast and we'd love for this podcast to be a blessing to you in the days to come. So if you could share this podcast, subscribe so that every episode ends up in your feed, or just leave us a review, we would love more and more people to hear this message so that their lives can be surrounded and blessed by the grace of God. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.